Thank you for tuning in to the best parenting show on the internet. Post Daily Dose. Hey, good evening, Facebook family. Welcome to another episode of Post Daily Dose with me, your trusted parenting advisor, faithful guide, and servant on the healing journey. What's my name? Big Papa Brian Post. Hope everyone's doing fantastic. Coming to you just a little bit early um, here on the Daily Dose today because I am in Eureka, California, and I am getting ready to go spend some time with a couple families. So I want to go ahead and hop on here and give you number six in our series. 10 things every foster parent should know since this is Foster Care Awareness Month. Hello, Mom, I see you there. So number six, you will take it personally. And what I mean by that is foster children, as I've been saying, have trauma. And here's the thing about trauma. trauma the trauma experience has a vibration attached to it. It is a stress and fear vibration that resonates at the base of the brain stem. When the amygdala gets activated and it turns on that brain, opens up the brain stem and that trauma memory gets released, what's gonna happen? Hey, Gareth. Gareth says hello to you, mom. When that trauma memory gets released, then what happens is it sends off a vibration. That vibration will then resonate into your own amygdala. And I'm talking to you as foster parents. It will hit your amygdala. So your foster child's trauma memory gets turned on, has a vibration attached to it, and it hits your amygdala. When your amygdala gets hit, your amygdala turns on, starts releasing cortisol, and anything, any traumas that you've had that remotely, that remotely resemble the the experience, the vibration that you are experiencing from your child, this is important. I'm taking you to a different, kind of a different dimension here. Any experience that you've had that mimics the vibration of the experience that's coming, of what's coming from your foster child, will then turn on a memory within your brain stem and within your body. As soon as that happens, you start vibrating at a different level. That is the essence of taking children's behavior personally. So the first thing you have to acknowledge and the first thing you have to be aware of and understand is that you are going to take the behavior personally. I know I've said it before, don't take it personally. I know a lot of other clinicians and coaches say don't take it personally, but here's the truth. You are going to take it personally. It is unavoidable to not take it personally. It is physiologic. It's naturally, neurophysiologically, it's neurophysiologically impossible to not take someone else's negative behavior personally because of the vibration that gets emitted and transmitted. But here's the good news. You have the ability up on being, being, um, uh, what would be a good word? Being buzzed. You have the ability up on being buzzed to recognize the buzzing and to create space between the buzzing and the memory it creates, the vibration it creates, the, the, resonant, vib the, the resonant buzzing it creates, and your reaction. And the space in between is called response. The space in between is the ability and the time you have to choose love over fear. Now, let's look at this in a moment to moment. Something happens with your child. They leave the light on. They don't take the trash out. They slam the one of the parents up against the door. What is scariest about that? You may not even realize that it's scary, but it is scary. It's scary at a physiologic level. What is scary about that is that that experience sends a vibration, an emotional vibration. Emotion is energy in, in motion. Bzz, it buzzes you. And as soon as it buzzes you, it, it reverberates all throughout the house. 
This is why everyone gets stressed out. As soon as something, you know, some escalation happens, everyone's like, oh, it's because it sends out a reverberation, a reverberation throughout the house, which your amygdala picks up on, because remember, your amygdala is like a radar detector. It's always sensing threat in the environment. And as soon as your amygdala picks up on it, the first thing it does, and it happens so fast, is it goes right into your brainstem and says, have I experienced this before? And as soon as your brainstem says, yes, then your brainstem says, when was it? And your amygdala says, when was it? Your brainstem says, it was this time. And your brainstem releases this memory and this vibration that is like mimics like right away the, the reverberation throughout the house. So it's like all of a sudden the, the amygdala, the amygdala vibration that's emitted from your child and from the situation turns on a memory and an equal vibration within your brain and your body system. And that's the rah that you experience. That's why you take it personally. Because that vibration, you it's unavoidable. But what you can do, very simply, breathe. I want you to become more mindful, more mindful and more mindful of the fact that just because that memory reverberates up from your brainstem that tells you something bad's going to happen because it's tying into a a scary memory that mimics that vibration. You have the ability to override that through breathing and calming yourself down. And you don't even have to calm yourself down completely. You just have to be able to create a little bit of space between that reaction, between that amygdala reaction, that buzzing, that getting buzzed, and then the reaction that follows, which is usually a, a negative, you know, yelling, um, hitting, screaming, whatever it is we do. You have the ability in that space to choose, to, to choose. You can breathe and you just dial it down just a little bit. And the dialing it down just a little bit will give you an opportunity. And I want you to hear me. Now you don't have to take it personally. Now you can say, what I am feeling right now has more to do with me and less to do with what's happening with my child. Let me turn this down. Let me turn what's going on with me. Let me turn this down. And then let me go attend to my child. Let me go engage my child. Let me go be present. Let me go observe. Let me go acknowledge. Let me go understand. Let me go find empathy. Let me go find compassion. Let me go match them emotionally. And then all of a sudden you enter into a space to where you are now creating a healing relationship with your child. But the first thing you have to do is realize that you will take those behaviors personally. And if those behaviors with that vibration underneath them, if they mimic an experience that you've had, that's going to be the degree to which you become dysregulated. That's going to become the degree to which that experience, your own, your own experiences matching up to that vibration that's being emitted from your child is going to dictate the degree to which your thinking becomes confused and distorted and your short-term memory is suppressed. Your ability to stop, to pause, just pause. Breathe and calm yourself down. In that moment, just dialing down. I call that fearless, just parenting in degrees. Dialing that fear down just a little bit will allow you the opportunity to change your own vibration and then go create a safe and therapeutic and healing opportunity for your child. Remember, in any given situation, we all have the ability. We can react from stress and fear and overwhelm and reactions don't require thinking. It's unconscious. And there's no thought. And a lot of times it leaves us feeling really tired because we're helpless to our own stress. Or we can stop, we can take three to ten deep breaths, we can slow down, and we can choose love. And that's responding. And that's when we're actually using thought and we're being more conscious. 
that is the space that you create healing for your child. You do not create space, you do not create healing for your child from the space of stress and fear. So that's it. I hope that's helpful. God bless you. Big Papa loves you. I'm gonna go hang out here. It's uh it's rainy here. It's kind of gray, rainy, 53 degrees. Gonna be that way all week long. That's okay. I'm gonna go bring some light and some love where I can. So God bless. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you.